Lee, within the Stamrag Group, you've got a fantastic brand and legacy, the SIP machine. Now, you've had thousands of machines across the world, over 150 years old the brand is, but what makes a SIP machine SIP? Well, Mark, it's really simple. SIP are the last remaining true jig boring machine on the market. So, what makes a, a jig borer not a machining centre then, Lee? Well, it's accuracy, Mark. I mean, on this machine, we, we achieve both linear and perp perpendicularity accuracies of sub two microns. So how do you manufacture this machine to actually give customers that opportunity of the accuracy? Well, there's, there's a few key things to, to point out on this machine. I think, I think first it's the way it sits. It sits on three pads, so it's always stable. Any movement in the ground or, or, or the environment, the machine goes with it. And when you look at uh, the, the way it's manufactured, they talk about the, um, the scraping. Uh, for those engineers that may not know the process, how many hours actually goes into a machine like this? Well, there's, there's around 700 to 800 hours per machine of scraping, and it's absolutely essential to achieve the accuracies on, on, on mating faces. So what you have is you have a cast iron base, isostatic guide rails, the machine then has two columns and, 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 a, and a cross rail or a bridge. And when the columns and the cross rail and the bridge are assembled, they're scraped and scraped and scraped until they're perfect and, and, and within this two micron target that we set. Now I know many machining centers have a lot of compensation. Does this also have compensation built within the machine? Absolutely not, Mark. There's no electronic compensation on this machine at all. It's because of the way it's built and, and, and the accuracy that it's built to. We talked about it sitting on three, three uh, locations. All of the peripheral devices, like the electrical cabinet, the tool change, the pallet changer, are detached from the main machine frame. So the, 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 the environment that the machine works in is completely controlled, and, and this is how we maintain this uh, very high level of accuracy. Uh, and what type of company buys a machine like this, Lee? I mean, is it, is it like machine builders, really, or is it, is it beyond that? Well, we, we, we look at accuracy as a pyramid mark and that there's general machining, the super accuracy and then right at the top there's ultra precision machining. So it's companies who are looking for accurate parts where, where tolerances are just down to a couple of microns, a few microns. And many of these machines are years old and they're still be, being used in industry, aren't they? Well, I spoke to a customer a few weeks ago and he said, we've got an old SIP in the corner, it's 50 years old, it's our get out of jail card. If they make a mistake on another machine, they drop it on the SIP to put it right. And to put you on the spot, does it get any better than this? In accuracy terms, no. You calibrate your CMM to the component that comes off the SIP machine.